Road dogging at home, stuck inside all we are. But we're still road dogging at home. Now, usually I would use the George Foreman grill when I do a raw dog at home, but I've been rec the, someone recommended that these uh, hot dogs be cooked in oil on the stove. So I'm going to follow that recommendation. Now I already have a pot of water in here. And what I like doing when I make dirty water hot dogs is pouring just a little olive oil. Now this is going to boil up. Now I'm going to wait to put the, so the water's boiling to put the hot dogs in. Because that's the way I like cooking it. It's sort of like how the truck does it. But today we are raw dogging these Mean red snappers. They're mean red snappers. And I was told that these are best served boiled. So we're going to be doing that. So keep your eye out as we wait for the pot. Let's take a closer look at these red snappers from Maine. Red snappers from Maine. Red snappers from Maine. Red snappers from Maine. I like this interesting packaging. Not your traditional hot dog packaging. Oh, let's see. It's a pork and beef blend. The uh, got. Plenty of spices, including mustard. I hope that doesn't diminish the dog. Nitrates, you know, all that stuff. Made out of Bangor, Maine by W.A. Bean and Sons. So these are red snappers from Maine. The, uh, the red, I guess, comes from this artificial coloring, uh, natural casing hot dogs. But it says artificially colored. So apparently these are very popular in Maine. We're going to see if these dogs pass the tank grade. Red snappers from Maine. Okay, let's go back over to the pot. The pot is boiling. The pot is boiling. The pot is boiling. The pot is boiling, boiling, boiling. Boiling pot. The pot is boiling. See the pot is boiling. Boiling, boiling, boiling. Boiling pot. The pot is boiling. The pot is boiling. The pot is boiling. We'll get three dogs and put them in now. Boiling pot. Let's see how to open this thing up. Well, I guess I'll have to use a knife. I thought I could. Hold this bag open. Hmm. All right, we'll put one red snapper in. We'll put two red snappers in. These two are stuck it together. Is a little strong there. We'll cover it up and we'll cook this in here for about 10 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. We'll get some hot dog rolls. And what I like doing is I like putting the hot dog rolls by the steam vent here because it sort of steams the buns. And we wait, and then we'll be de determining if these hot dogs pass the tank grade. Maine Red Snappers! Red Snappers from Maine. Alright, it's time to get these hot dogs off of the pot. 
and get them served up and we'll see how they taste. Let's go get those dogs. Let's go get the 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 dogs. Let's see how they taste. Because it's time to play the meal. See, these dogs come out nice and steamed. Time to play the meal. Get our little thongs out, our hot dog dongs. Time to plate the meal. Oh, they split. They actually split in the water. I've never seen that before. Splitting in the water. Oh, you have got to see this. The water turned red. And the hot dogs kind of turned pink. Look at that, look at the red water. The, these hot dogs turned the water red. Ding, 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 raw dogging with the tank at home. Mm, raw dogging with the tank at home. Let's see if these dogs measure up what the rating is, and we'll see if Maine knows what they're talking about. And they also told me it's good to have these with a nice potato chip, so I got these baked kettle cooked, these kettle cooked chips, very tasty. Also gonna have it with a diet sun kiss. So let's give these dogs a try. These are main red snappers. They have been making these since 1860. These are uh, been made, be, being made for 160 years, a very popular item up there in Maine and New England. So let's see how the Maine Red Snappers taste. I'm gonna give these a double. They're not something I would run out of my way to get, but they're a unique item. I guess if I was in Maine, I'd be a maniac for them, a maniac Maine. But these are, are decent dogs. They're not dogs that are terrible. They're not dogs that are horrible. But they're just good enough to be good.